Welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, yes. So, I, fig I figured it out by watching the video with some sound. And basically, it's, um, you'll see it when I'm done. But it's a dropper pointing right back into, or a hopper pointing right back into a dropper. Just because it's supposed to be triggering something. Which I, I'm pretty confident can be done with an observer block. Uh, but I'm going to do it just I think you should do it with an observer. Well, I'm going to do it the way the tutorial is first, then replace it with an observer. And... Because I want to make sure it works first, and then replace it with the gotcha. observer, and uh, gotcha, and then we'll be I good. I understand. I understand. Mm -hmm. So this part is still right. This is oh no! I might need to go down a block, another block, because we have redstone running up on on this rail, right? Yes. I can make that go up. Well, I know that you'd better not fuck it up. <laughs> well, I can make it go up a block. Mm. Doesn't sound right to me. <laughs> you know, let's see if I can make this go down another block. I don't know about all this. I'm just, I'm just saying words. I don't, I don't even know what you're talking about. To be honest. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely afraid. Well, I'm actually already kind of afraid of. Ghosts, me too. Yeah, why are all these hoppers here again? To refill these droppers. This set on the bottom? Oh, no, you put those there. That's something you were doing. You yeah, can get rid of those if you'd like. You yeah, did that. Good. I, just you may, that. May I was, I was definitely going to be interfering with these hoppers, but uh, yeah, I don't think they're needed. No, I don't think they do anything at all. Though it's kind of annoying because I am going to have to interfere with Dahl's thing one time. Because if I put, yeah, because these redstone torches are going to, if I if I put it right next to this thing, yeah, it's going to get triggered by that. So I have to go down one more time then. Uh, which I really didn't want to have to do. This looks so weird with all these, all these droppers that I don't remember what I did. So, what are you working on? I am refilling the droppers with the the wool. I'm working on automating that. And is it going well? It's going great. It sounds very confident. I think it. Uh, I think it's pretty easy, honestly. So I don't think there's anything that's complicated about what I'm doing. Just a matter of uh, doing. It. I gotta fill them all up with dye. Come on. Okay. I mean, I, I don't have. <laughs> Come to on, that, not the dye. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, we kind of need it. Uh, <laughs> I just fell off the freaking edge of the boat. Here's uh there wasn't enough gray over there there, honestly. I need more gray dye. Or gray wool. Yeah, we need like six more stacks of gray wool. Come on, patrons, get your shit together. Yeah, patrons. What is this? Had to get all this free wool, and now it's like not even what everything I need. It's pretty, uh, pretty obnoxious, really, that they would do this to me. <clears throat> Let's see if that's gonna work. Oh no, I don't want that sticking out that way. I need it to go this way. Okay, never mind. So, anything new in the house world? Oh, God. Where do we begin? So, oh, man, I was going to show you. Did I tell you how bad they screwed up the tile? You told me <laughs> You told me some of it. Uh, I, I don't know if there's more, but you told me about how he, uh, like, didn't put tile down around the uh, the stove, and then they put, uh, they, like, decided this to, to screw the, uh, yeah, the pattern me, they had going on and yeah, stuff like let, that. Let me just send you the photo that I took of it, just so you can see, like, that I'm not, I'm not crazy. Um, 
Because all these photos are just terrible. And that, wow. and that somehow, and like what baffles me is that it's, these people know it's their work, you know. <laughs> I would hope they know that. <laughs> but but it's like, it, it's just that it seems to be ex like acceptable to them. Have you sent it? No, not yet. I'm trying to, I have to pull out of my Google photos to. Right. Oh my God, they're so. There we go. So I, I, because I am really curious on your. There's. Just upload them. I don't want to comment on all of them. There's just a bunch of pictures of my kitchen and it's in its state of right. kitchen. Let me uh, kitcheniness. Take a look. This is in your the house I've been in, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, so in the first picture, what do you have circled exactly? That's the seams that are wrong. But the where you I said you one without them circled as well. Okay. Let me look at the one without them circled. Let's see how. I'm trying to remember how much of the rest of the floor you can actually see in that picture to know. So you can't really see a lot of the other part of the floor to right. to know how it lines up. But other just places. just the left. So the second column, the second tile from the left is correct. It's that first row, like underneath yeah. the fridge. Yeah. So like, this is something I don't think most people will notice for what it's worth, unless they're like standing there and looking at it one night, and then they're so like, "What the fuck?" We're thinking about now actually going back and saying, "Hey." We might be able to live with this, but you're going to have to like cut us a discount as opposed to coming in because they're going to, they're really upset because we told them they have to retile uh, that those sections. And they're like, well, you're going to be out of a kitchen for a few days again. And they were trying to blame it on us at first. And I was like, they were, they were basically How was like, it your fault? well, because originally you see the stove, which I didn't get a, a picture of beforehand. All this yeah. kind of started because they hadn't done what in front of the stove. Yeah. And they started at both ends of that row and worked in, which seems to be why it, you know, did that. Because they didn't plan on moving the stove. Uh-huh. And then we basically said, well, like, why is there so much? But you, you have, like, a six-inch overhang of old tile here. Like, this is unacceptable. No, we didn't plan on moving the stove. It was like, why the fuck did you not plan on moving the stove? Like, that's, that's slightly yeah. baffling to us. Um, the – so they were like, well, you know – so it looks like the other pictures that I'm showing of just a tile that's like way lower than the other tile. It looks like they yeah. put the stove back before the mortar was set. So it pushed uh, it down. And so there's a huge, that's what I was gonna ask. it's a huge yeah, what that was. Like, gap there. And they yeah. were like, you know, and they were looking at the seams and they said something about like, oh, well, yeah, that's what you, we weren't planning on moving the stove in the first place. I said, no matter what, the seams should have lined up. If you weren't planning on moving the stove, it doesn't fucking matter. The seams should have still been the seams. Like they, they yeah. you follow the seams all the way through. You don't, change the seams up randomly like it doesn't make any sense um they're like well did this morning they text us and they're like remediation plan it's gonna take us longer than just today to get that tile taken care of and we know how important the kitchen is to you guys so uh it's uh you know you're gonna have to be without a, a kitchen for a couple days we'll have to start that next week uh because you know we don't want you to be without a kitchen for the weekend. And it's just like, I don't understand. Like we're going to be out without a kitchen anyway. I don't understand how this, you know, starting it next week is going to change anything. It's we're still yeah. going to be without a kitchen for a handful of days. Uh, maybe guess, it's just because uh, they I guess saying if they start to, this weekend. tomorrow, they're not going to work on the weekend. Right. Yeah. So we're like, okay, but now we're thinking about going back and, you know, telling them that, you know, Hey, cut us a discount and we will not deal with having to get this. What did it cost to tile the kitchen, just out of curiosity? Uh, it was all part of a larger quote, but I think the kitchen was like 2000 bucks or something like that. Yeah. Not not cheap, but, you know. No, no. I mean, I was the reason why I was asked is because I just, you know, I just did that hardwood in my hallway. And I think the uh, square footage. Yeah, hardwood in your hallway. <laughs> yeah, I did. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think the square footage of my hallway is probably about the same as your kitchen. Um. When I'm thinking about the size of your kitchen, and so I was just why I was curious because it costs a little over two thousand as well for me to do the hardwood. Yeah, so I don't wondering. think these people have ever t 
tiled or maybe tile is not their forte. It's like a general contractor who uh-huh. I think they got in over their head with this because they also quoted us to do the whole downstairs, like the whole our the the tenant downstairs. Oh, her I bet whole, you're not doing that anymore. Her whole floor. Well, we will if we do the vinyl plan because they did other great work. The, the tiles, the main thing that's like, what the hell is going on here? But um, she, isn't she doing tile down there? Not anymore. So we are going to do vinyl planking down there now. Oh, but okay. he did quote us the exact same install price for tile as vinyl planking, which is crazy. Which makes us realize now that he, I don't think he just understands yeah, what it costs to do and the time it takes. Because he also said they were going to come lay tile one day, uh, lay tile with mortar, come back the next day, grout it, it'd be done. It's two days, uh, one day to remove all the old tile, one day to lay, one day to, you know, come back and grout because you have to let it sit. Yeah. They've been working on, after they fixed the subfloor and everything, just lay, it, t- it took them like four days to remove the tile and it took them at least three days to lay tile in that small <laughs> area yeah clearly not something that they do on a regular basis is where all right thought process is with that yeah yeah the company i went with that's just all they do is floor um, yeah we got some quotes from some of those places but they were like and i understand wanting to go with places that are like all you do is floors because you know that's your what you're good at that's your forte or you know whether it is your forte or not or you're just gonna you know try to dick people over with prices because that's what you do i don't know but they were very much what we didn't like about them is it was oh nope nope not a single thing can be on this floor when we walk in here or we'll just work around it you know you can't do that it was like we had to have the tenant completely move out with all of her stuff not in there. Whereas at least with these guys, they want to do like a, a job over a couple of days, never move stuff to one half of the house and then move it to the uh-huh. other half of the house, which is a lot more up our alley where there's those floor people are just like, uh, uh-uh, no, 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 fast, fast, fast. You, you get it done on our schedule. Yeah. You know, gotcha. Which is kind of, we don't like that as much. That's some, yeah, that's understandable. Um, yeah, that happened to me with some carpet one time when I got my new carpet in this house. They were like, yeah, we can move stuff from room uh, to yeah, room I, and all I, this. I remember that story. Yeah. And they showed up and were like, we're not moving any. Yeah, what move. the fuck, guys? What, what do you mean said? move stuff? Yeah. No, come on. What do we look like? Movers? Right. So they just left. It's like, oh, well, okay. Um, Yeah, but that worked out in the end until a bunny came in and destroyed it. Wait, you're, it's all destroyed? The hallway. That's why I had to get hardwood. I didn't... Uh, it was all because of the rabbit. That was only like last year too, right? Yeah. No, yeah, it's brand new fucking carpet, dude. That yeah. Long. No, I spent like almost four thousand dollars on carpet, and then I got this bunny, and he wrecked it in the hallway, uh, which is where he lives, you know. Um, so that's his area for now until the whole downstairs becomes bunny area. But um, yeah, he he everything I tried to make him stop. I read everything online about deterring them from chewing on stuff, and he just he wants to be where I'm at, so he's trying to dig to me basically. Um. And he would dig into the carpet and then it would start coming up. He thought he was making headway. So he'd dig even harder. Like, I'm getting there, motherfuckers. Um, he'd start biting at it and ripping it up with his teeth. And just there was carpet everywhere. And like I started putting like the lids off of like like storage tubs, like down on the floor in the areas that he would dig at. Cause he would only dig it like entry and exit ways. <coughs> so I thought, okay, I'll just cover these things up. Which was super fucking ghetto. It was like this patchwork of like plastic tub lids all through the hallway at door entrances and stuff and like i put down like wood and stuff just try to deter him and i mean if i did it long enough he'd eventually give up but uh no he 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 figured out how to like Found grab him with his teeth and move them and stuff uh yeah so i basically just gave up and got hardwood which was another it was like 2200 i think 2500 somewhere in that range so yeah that bunny cost me a fortune just on flooring and then, like I said, I'm gonna, I'm moving him and the other bunny downstairs in the concrete area once they once they're friends. It works. Nice, nice. So it stops and everything like it you want. It stops and everything. Yep. All right. Wait, let's make sure it's actually re- reloaded this thing appropriately though. We're missing. Uh, it didn't reload it right though. Hmm. Doesn't work. Well, why? A premature. Oh, no, my it colors worked. are in there. Wait, what a minute. What, what the hell? Other colors are missing though. Mm, likely story uh that weren't missing just a minute ago which is why i'm concerned about mm, oh wait yeah. they're hanging out in here yeah Hold on. fucked it up jeff well I, I did because i took out all these hoppers um, definitely fucked it up it's too bad that's 
did not go as planned. Something did not just work there, and I don't know what. No, it doesn't have anything in it. Oh, shit, son of a bitch. Goddamn. It fell down here in the water. Uh, why are these hoppers currently locked? Oh, it's because they yeah. were locked beforehand. Okay, hold on a second. It's kind of one of those annoying setups because if you screw something up like once, then items get stuck in hoppers that you're going to have to manually start moving out because currently all the hoppers are locked. Yeah. Why is there two? Oh, we have to seed it with one, right? Yep. Should be good. Um, I think it's okay. I sent that girl a message hoping she'd respond while we were still recording. Why is this one on? And she has not, and I'm so sad. Oh, no. I asked for details on her uh, so quick. we could find out, like, exactly what what I get. <laughs> like, does every does it like, a, like a coupon code for, like, every $15 comes with a blowjob or something? <laughs> or um, card. There's one problem with this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's that. Don't work. It's the one oh. problem is that it doesn't work. Well, it's just that you have to have a, there's a redstone torch in a specific spot that ends up. Oh yeah, you got this shit lit up over here, Jeff. Hoppers. You're you're fucking it all up. You're sending items out. Oh Wait, my god, what a nightmare. Oh that? no. What are you talking about? You've got this this whole line lit up. Oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, uh That's yeah. why items are not that's why your colors aren't in there. You've been sending them out. Yeah, it's because of that right there. What can I replace that with? What does this do exactly in the grand scheme of this all? That's what, <clears throat> what I must now know. Okay. And how can this be? Let's see if the changed. wool you sent out is still up here. It is. Just a pile of wool up here, Jeff. Saying no. Well, I'm wondering if... Oh my God, I'm in a hole. Trapped in a hole of emotion. Can well this somehow? No, because that's still gonna light up the line above, huh? Huh. Hmm. The only way I can do it, I can drop it down another layer. There you go. But we have to eat into more of the side of the boat design. I don't know. Yeah, but that, in theory, should work. Let's drop it down. Like it's hot. Like it is hot. God, the way you said that. <laughs> <laughs> what? Like, I am such a ghetto rapper like it is hot <laughs> yeah that's the only problem with this is this makes it you know damn it man we don't have enough they don't have enough enough what of the colors our our demand for wool is greater than their supply but it's free i know right so how do, how does how does supply and demand work when the items are free. I mean, we have demand for it. They must supply it. <laughs> Isn't that what supply and demand means? Uh, I want you give. I think I might have fell asleep on that day in the economics class. Uh, okay. That's exactly so I brown this. and lime are good. So I've done lime, brown, cyan, gray 
So blue and orange are next. Come on. Now hopefully he can fix this. It's like two extra layers deep he'll have to go. Well, he did say he wants to put lifeboats on one side, but now the other side, I don't know what he's going to have to do. Well, it doesn't um, look think... too... On the other side, it might actually be covered by the dock. Okay. Um, I'm not sticking out a bump. It's just literally going down two more rows because he had it kind of tapering in near the bottom. All right. But I got to go down into some of that taper. Is what I, into what the I'm taper. Doing. Into the taper. But it's okay because I've screwed up the whole thing now, right? So it doesn't really matter. It's all ruined. Damn, I, I looked at two colors and I remember one of them now. It was blue and something else. Beige. Mm mm. Orange. I mean, it's blue and orange. I was going to say, how can you be sure if you don't remember? <laughs> it was in there. I just had to find it again. Uh, me and my daughter have been working on this um, this dollhouse. It's like a do it do it yourself dollhouse. And so Babs did it on stream. But I didn't actually watch it. <laughs> I just saw her finished product, and it looked really cool. And so I asked her, I was like, "Is that like a kit or something? Like, how did you do it?" And she said, "Yeah, it's a kit." And so I bought I bought this one off of Amazon, and it is insane the level of DIY. Every single aspect. There there is no material. There is no finished products like for example today we just finished the like countertop in the kitchen and the stove and like to make the stove it does come with like three sheets of paper where there's like printed graphics on but then like so you have to cut out these little pieces of wood then once you have the wood you cut out the like the the little the little stove top icon then you have these like pieces of wire and you cut the wire to like certain number of centimeters then you bend the wire and glue it on top of the stove top um, and then like you, to make like, uh, a cutting board, you cut out this wood for the cutting board and then it How comes with these erasers. It cost? It's like 25 bucks. Oh, it's so um, not even, it's like, it's not super expensive. No, it's not expensive. Uh, it's like, it's got, it's got like wiring where you light it all up. It's got like little led lights and stuff, but every part of it is super intricate. Like, like this cutting board, so you cut out the wooden cutting board and then it comes with erasers that are like one erasers, like Kiwi ones, oranges, one's uh like some kind of danish or something so you're cutting the eraser to a certain dimension to make these slices of kiwi or stuff and then you glue it to the cutting board to make the knife for the cutting board you have like this foil paper and then you cut that out and then you like shape it around a little mold and then you have the the handle is like another thing that you shape around it like none of it Every single bit of it is like and it's super tiny so like you're working with tweezers for every part of it and stuff um like just to make so we just like I said we just finished the uh, the kitchen uh, the countertop and the cutting boards and stuff and that's like we're like on day three of working on so we're probably like five hour five hours in at least um, to make what we've made so far so it is uh, it's super intricate is but, she uh, enjoying it at least oh yeah, yeah yeah she's super into it she's asking to do it all the time basically like every every time she has some free time she's like let's work on the miniature thing uh, so she's really into it so I guess that's really all that matters she's having a good time uh, but. It's it's the most intricate little thing I've ever done. And basically what I'm doing is I'm doing all the intricate razor work to cut out the pieces and then I'm giving them to her and she's doing all the gluing and stuff. So I'm doing all the dangerous aspects, the cutting and stuff, and then she's doing the other parts. Yeah, that's uh it's all crazy. I know uh Grammy and Grandpa bought Jack a Lego thing for um I don't know something recently. I mean, mm -hmm. Maybe it was just you know just cause like why why not you know type of deal. Yeah. And uh, oh god dang it, it's not gonna work. And uh, it's for it was for ages like eight and up. But he was okay. determined. He wanted to do it. He wanted to do it. He wanted to do it. So we did it. We did the whole thing. And it's all he wanted to do for like a few days was was work on that. And he would lose focus on it too. Um, which, you know, made it a little bit difficult because it's like, dude, you gotta, you gotta keep focus if, uh, yeah, if we're, if we're going to do this, this is not going to work. Um, but we did get through it and it, it was, it was tough at times though, because he was losing interest, but he he's what, to do three it. now, yes. right? 
Yeah. Yes, yeah, the same age. We started with Lo Lego, but we we she had Duplo. Block. Well, no, not Duplo. She had some. Well, what is it? Duplo. She had these really huge. Yeah, blocks we have, yeah, we got. have Duplos too. I mean, I'm talking like a a Lego ice cream truck kit. Like build yeah. a specific thing out of Lego. Not, right, right, right. You know, yeah, not just like random Lego. Not sure. just like randomly play with stuff. She never had like the smaller Duplo. Like she had like a castle that you could get inside of out of some kind of blocks i thought i think it might be duplo it's pretty maybe not uh it, it, was, it was like massive blocks but then i think the first time she had a smaller thing it was just lego but yes you know at first i think it was the same sort of thing she'd lose interest pretty quick and so it took a long time to get through a set um but now we only buy i mean we buy some of the smaller ones too but she's done plenty of the ones that say they're for 16 year olds and she's only eight um so i think i think I think the reason why they, they, they rate those larger sets at 16 is not because it's something that an eight-year-old can't do. It's just that they're probably going to lose interest before they finish sort of thing. Um, so it did take us like six months to do the Disney castle. but And I think that was more – it wasn't that it was hard. It was just that you know we'd do a little bit, and she'd be like, eh, I'm bored of this. Um, and so we wouldn't come back to it for a few days and stuff. And then did you immediately break it apart? No. No, I, I, I <laughs> no. <laughs> no we have we have a you? lot of Lego on display. How dare you? <laughs> yeah, no, I, we don't ever break apart our Lego after we build it. I might have to re-engineer this whole thing because I'm one block. Oh, you know what? I have been worried because in our playroom, um, she, you know, she's got two thousand dollars worth of Lego just sitting on a uh, a, a table back there, uh, all put together. And so whenever she's got friends over, I'm always just like, I tell her like, make sure they don't bust the Lego. <laughs> Make sure they don't bust a Lego. Like I could just see a kid playing around and like leaning into the Disney castle and just crumbling the damn thing. Um, so I am a little bit worried sometimes whenever there's kids over like, be careful around the Lego. That's all you need to do. A lot of time went into making that. And now, especially now that I know how much it, it appreciates in value, like be extra careful around it. I had no idea Legos yeah. were so much after the fact, even once built. I didn't realize that either. It's it's insane. Like, there's sets I want that I don't have that are now out of print. And whenever they were new, a few years ago, they were like 150 bucks, and they're $3,000 now. So, yeah. Lego, Lego goes up in value a lot. Even, even if it's been open and built. I mean, so just invest in Lego, huh? Yeah, no, I honestly, like, for instance, I bought a Voltron set. It's only been out of print for, like, six months now. And when I bought it, it was 120 It goes for almost 400 now. Jesus. I didn't realize that Lego was that insane. Yeah, the moment a set goes out of print, people are, like, frothing at the mouth for it, basically. Um, and you can just sell it for just insane prices. I remember when I worked at McDonald's and, you know, I was – started with there when i was 16 this is probably when i was like 18 or so and uh i don't know we went to toys r us to get something i don't know if we were looking for like a specific whatever it was toys r us was not like a normal store for us but i also didn't like think anything of it went into toys r us and i ran into a, one of the other managers who's only like late 20s it's not like he was super old mm -hmm. um and we we're like, all right, look, it's Joe. Joe, what's up? And he like looked at us and kind of tucked his head and like walked around the corner because he was like walking with the Star Wars Lego set. And I think he was like so determined that we clearly were going to like think he was the biggest loser for, you know, being in Toys R Us for with the Star Wars Lego set. And all I kept thinking to myself is like, but we're here too. Like, yeah, like, we're all so I, don't, I don't, I don't understand. Like, why, why you? Why are you embarrassed? Is that people had talked about? They thought they would be embarrassed if, uh, God damn it, if um, somebody saw them like, it went, oh God, how embarrassing would it be if I like ran into my boss at the strip club? It's like not at all because your boss is also at the strip club. That yeah, it's like I don't, yeah, I don't get it. I think it's all embarrassing if it's like your second job and you're on stage, and now your boss wants a lap dance. Might be then a little more embarrassing that way. Yes. Why can I not make this thing? I cannot make this behave as I think that it should. You need to behave. You tell it like it's your kid. I 
You're keeping an iron block down there too instead of Is that what you do your kid? Yeah, I put iron blocks iron down. Block. I'm like, yo, <laughs> iron block. This is what keeps getting stuck. I don't under oh I need to go up here, that's why. <laughs> Doll's gonna hate me. If it wasn't for that one stupid purple pink. Purple and pink. Yes, that one stupid purple and pink. Yep. Hold Lead on. Purple I'm... and pink. Oh shit, it's been another thirty minutes, Jeff. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's almost it's almost it's proof. Proof time. Proof time. Proof is in the Okay, it's waiting. Iron it's block. It's waiting. If I put in this and this. Go little guy. Go little guy. Come back, little guy. Come back, little guy. Okay. Okay. Wait, why it went again? I don't know why. Did something trigger it? Okay, it stopped. We're good. Uh, what's what's missing from? We're missing four dies up here. Yeah, I need to go through these because they might have gotten trapped before they got locked. And I also don't have the final hopper in because. Okay, all those are there. I bet you when I put this in. There we go. Let's see what gets put in. I did not have them all when I started. I think there was one. It doesn't go all the way up. That's probably why it went twice. Uh oh, interesting. We'll have to get another power rail. Is it all there now? Uh, it didn't come all the way up here, so no, it didn't do anything. Uh, where did it get stuck at? It came oh, to about right there where you're at now. Yeah, shoot. And turned around. Uh, so I need to put... I'm out of power. Oh, no, I got one more powered rail, so... You know, sadly, it should trigger again, though. Oh, you know what? The sad thing is it's triggering off of the hopper, not off of the minecart itself. So if it ever gets stuck, it's going to... Did that make it all the way up? Uh, I was not looking. I don't think so, because there's nothing in here. Why? Crap. Why is... See, the problem is with what I had to do to fix it, I had to make it go you know, up so much higher, and I don't know what to do. Maybe I can... What, woman? What? What? What is this? Just someone broken in? Yeah? Go get him. <laughs> Beat him up. <laughs> Let's let's see. Just talking to my attack cat. Okay, that didn't work at all. Mm hmm. Uh. God damn it. I basically just need. <sighs> I need more powered rail and then more way for the powered rail to be powered mm-hmm mm -hmm. it's weird it used to make it up here what happened well I had to drop it down one more layer because uh, of right 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 yeah yeah because of you know stuff and things yeah old and stuff and things apparently that was it. but I've added a bunch more powered rail so I'm really surprised it's not Mm -hmm. Let's try that. Still not quite. Oh, I wasn't over there this time, but I don't think so. Um, we'll need to make more powered rail next time. Uh, and I think it, like if I put one right here, but you know what? I can probably let me try that right now. <laughs> what? Nothing. I figure if there's one closer to the top somewhere. Yeah, that's uh, probably the way, way to be. Like right on this one. What is this next to me? It's oh. a boat. It's a boat. Well, I'm afraid <clears throat> I need to get that powered. Is that this one? Nope. Mm-mm. Oh yeah, but now it is. <laughs> right when I did, uh, uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, 
I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you replaced a torch. I didn't know you replaced a uh, lever. So I was like, well, I heard it play. It's nothing happened. You did it. Yay. We're still missing one die. Okay. I did, well, I think we we're missing one initially as well. What is it? Is mm -hmm. it white? White. Yep. You're actually missing white. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't. I definitely had put the white one in there at some point. So it's lost somewhere. <sighs> and this is what I'm curious about if it's is something stuck somewhere. It doesn't appear to be. No, it's not stuck in any of these things. Um, you sure it's the white one? Yep. Why is there a bunch Why? of diorite up here? I was I had that same question. Yeah, you just you just lost that white die, dude. I can't believe you've done this. Hmm. That's interesting. Well, besides not in the that, card. Uh, good question. No. Well, I actually can't tell. No, it's on the minecart. Hmm. That's weird. Yeah, well, conceptually that works, though. It's just yeah. pretty... I don't know. Seems a little finicky, but maybe once we get it all set up and don't touch it anymore, it'll be it'll be fine. I'm trying to cover the side of this a little bit, so... Doll knows how I've messed with his design. Let's see what you've done. Oh, 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 yeah. Oof. Eesh. <laughs> I, oh, ah. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm, mm. Oh. Oh, oh, Hopefully Doll will work oh. with us in the future. I don't know. It's going to be like your tile guy. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, all right, guys. Well, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. All right, guys. See you.